It's going to puke then. Yeah. They eat grass to make themselves throw up to get rid of her balls. Oh! Freaking robot. Shit! Oh, Dad. I want to get one of them and a cat. Put it on. <laughs> we can retire from this. <laughs> yeah. Right then. The cold motor's no good now. We've had a bit of a speed bump. Um, more like an emergency stop, isn't it, than a speed bump? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Morning. The slab's dried off really nicely. Day after. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, so what, what day is this? Tuesday. Tuesday. You remember the profiles today? Yeah, I've got the profiles. Thank God. So uh, today's job. It's threatening rain today, according to the app. Which according told to us, the telly as well. It's yeah. going to rain, but later on. Which always tells us it's going to be like nice and dry when it actually chucks it down. So. We've both putting a mix in. So Dad's getting the profile set up now. We're going to get um, at least get that up to finished height. So it's just one to go on that. Yeah, one more course to go on that, but one in a bit. Then so eleven courses all the way around. Then the pillars are going up to um, length of height, door height. Twenty-one hundred twenty-eight courses. Twenty-eight courses. So, and I'll just take you to the front, for one sec. It's a, in, it's a shame because this is the easiest way through, but not for the not for the barrows. We have to go the long way for the barrows. But um, as you can see, steels have arrived. They, apparently, they arrived 15 minutes before we did. So, nice and convenient. So, the idea today, as well, is um, if the rain does come, we're going to um, cover the brickwork up and. Uh, Get these set up because these I'm sure I'm sure dad's mentioned this before they're going there obviously but um they're a bit longer so they're gonna go past here and go a bit further out which isn't really a problem because it's behind rendering so um luckily I've got them too long yeah better too long than too short isn't it <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, that's all there is to it at the moment too short that'll be through the pound state yeah, big mistake if it's too short. But um yeah, so that's all there is so far. Mix is nearly ready. <coughs> Profiles are getting ready. So yeah, let's um get cracking. How they do it? How the YouTube people do it? Double white. Double. On to the next. Yeah. Just a quick one as a follow up to one of our videos, the uh, right way up video. 
these brick are the same, these have got the feather on them. So a bit more obvious on the ends, but if you can't, some of them aren't really easy to tell. But this, as I mentioned in the video, if you notice these have a serial number on the back. Um, 244A, I think it says IM21. So obviously that's the year of manufacture. But anyway, those numbers correspond to the right way up of the brick. So if you can't tell which way the brick is, double check the back. Very handy that. Not all of them are like that, but that, these are, some of them are quite difficult. Yeah, see that, that looks right way up, but it's not. That's the right way up. And then you double check yourself with the numbers and letters. So there you go. Just a quick one, because this pillar is only a brick and a half, we need to check the house wall, which as you can see is out about 10 mil. Yeah, so top to bottom is probably 10, 15 mil. So when you set this pillar out, if I'd have set that out at exactly brick and a half, by the time I got to the top there, I would have had a cut in it. So what we need to do is pull this pillar out at least an extra 10 mil, just make the joints a bit bigger. And then probably even make that, the, the cross joints the same, but just keep this joint against the house a bit bigger. And then it's gonna reduce as we get towards the top. And uh, we should still have a brick and a half pillar at the top, as long as we make it big enough at the bottom. Just a little tip there, that's um, so easily done, because not all houses are plumb. Don't assume the house is plumb. That was always important when we did conservatories because um, if the conservatory had high walls on it, then you had to check at the top and the bottom. If, you didn't, if, the, if it did run out of plumb, then your brickwork would end up too small. Uh, let me think, too small. Yeah, you'd be plumb from the bottom, but the frames would push out over the top. So, oh, forget it, it's too hard to explain. <laughs> Check your DPC for your measurements and double check your plumb on the house.
Um, pretty all right. Tightish. Yeah. Like, tight, but not like aggressively tight. Cause I, I ended up having to open up a little bit. Of the end. All Make sure those jokes are nice and tight on that piece. Hold it. Make sure the jokes are nice and tight. Uh -huh. Beware And as Alex puts the last two in there, um, that'll do for normal speed for a bit. We don't do enough normal speed, so try and get a bit every now and again, but it's radio time now. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, we're all set out. Solid wall, solid wall, three brick pillar, door opening, brick and a half. I'm not sure these are bifolds or not, but they're just the doors anyway. Um, yeah, so we'll just crack on now. 
we've done ourselves in by putting that wall up first but couldn't be helped we need to get some brick work up yesterday while we had the time that was just purely to get a bit, bit get ahead of ourselves with the brickwork Rosa finished off that course. Oh yeah, Alex has just squared that up, so that's it now. That's finished. So go. you've got this pillar on the other side, carries on up. It's just to take the beam for the to span the doors. The plan was originally to go back into there and take the wall right back to there. But uh, we need the we need the internal wall. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll get on that time lapse for a bit now. See you in a bit.
Right then. The cold motor's no good now. We've had a bit of a speed bump. Um, more like an emergency stop, isn't it, than a speed bump? <laughs> yeah, we're having our lunch and um, the customer isn't happy with the door opening, which is fine. So we're going to be changing that, but we don't know how we're changing it yet. So um, Robbie and Robbie will be here tomorrow. So then everything can be rejigged. Doesn't affect this side. There might be a pillar here, there might not be. We, we'll, we'll find out tomorrow. That pillar could be reducing in size. It was three by three brick by three brick. So it's the same as that over there. Um, once bigger doors, so that might be going. So if that one goes, that one goes. And we might have to just two that out and take that pillar back a bit. But these things happen. It's a customer's, it's a customer's job, it's up to them. So as long as they're happy, we'll get it fixed. So what we're doing now is we're going to use up what motor we've got left. I'm going to put a corner up in there. We can get a corner up to the, well, probably a course higher. And then we've got uh, this to run in three courses and then we've got uh, two courses to make up so I'm just going to cut the blocks down for that we've got loads of blocks so we've got plenty so I'll just cut them over there in the garden um, yeah we didn't get enough commons but I'd rather do it with the blocks anyway so it's the same material keep the uh, building control happy um, that's pretty much it for now isn't it it's, it's finally trying to rain now isn't it two o'clock <laughs> we've done so well today it's, it's, it's barely rained it's, it's the the app says rain all day, didn't it, from nine o'clock, and it's not rain much at all. So obviously we've got all this done, all that, all that, and top course on there. You know it's going to go down. So um, we're running along, and then like somebody just stuck a leg up and tripped us up and fell flat on our face. I feel like it too. <laughs> it's not a problem. All all um, all that it affects is our deadline for the weekend, which we've got a big deadline to hit, which we should still be okay. I was hoping to fit another job in on the Saturday, but we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, let's crack on with this block work corner while Alex has a bit of a tidy up and, I don't know, um, the blocks in the bar are ready for here. I'll rethink my life decisions while I'm at it. <laughs> I've covered the blocks up outside, if you just have a little brush up outside, yeah. in fact you can bring the, the trestles and the planks around and put them over there. Because we're not mixing there tomorrow are we? They're all out of the van, they just need bringing round. I was, I was eager then until you mentioned the trestles. We don't like trestles. Get off. It's my thing that. My thing. <laughs> it's my thing. I'll take my stop taking stuff from people. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, then Blue's going to do with the instant of Hesse going back over the mate. Yeah, as you can see, it's finally arrived. We've done damn well to, really to dodge run. it today. Good yeah, um, there we go, managed to get backed up. Can't return that corner because we don't know what's going on with that corner tomorrow. It'll still be green tomorrow. We can just, we can just Thanks. Yeah, so we don't know what that's going to do tomorrow. We'll use the... What do we call it? Reciprocating saw. What's Sabre saw? Sabre saw, that's it. Yeah, we can use a sabre saw to tooth that out. That might be coming down altogether. Is it here? What's up with it? Put it down. Oh my god, it looks like Lego here. It's gone all like, it looks like it's got frosting on it. Thanks. So, um, we've got up there as high as we can. That's going to have to be cut down. Because we don't know what we're doing. It's going to puke then. They eat grass to make themselves throw up to get rid of her balls. Oh. Freaking robot. Shit. <laughs> First time seeing one of these in action. We've got one of them, it's called me. I wanna, it's I, called Dad. I want to get one of them and a cat. Put it on. <laughs> we can retire from this. <laughs> yeah. That'll go, that'll go um, viral, won't it? Anyway, so back to the job in hand. That's that's just got two cores to go in there, wherever the pillars end up. I think the pillars are all being reduced. Uh, customer wants more glass. He wants bigger doors and more glass. Because as that stands, that door is smaller than the door he's got here. And he wants that to be as much glass as possible because it's bifolds. But the trade-off is you need you need a bit of strength in pillars for, for bifolds to hang the door. But um, see, if the doors stack that way, they're going to stack against the back door. But I suppose if you're using the, your bifold, you're not using your back door, are you? Anyway, that's that's for the customer and Robbie to decide tomorrow. So tomorrow, um, clear this out. Start on this. Um, acros are there, planks around the front, trestles around the front, so everything's here ready to go. We'll just nip to Bursco in the morning to pick up the extra strong ball we forgot and a couple of bags of cement and probably another tub of brown dye because we're throwing all this brown stuff away. So yeah, wherever this ends up in the video, we'll see you either in the next video or in a minute.